time to save the city. Hey guys, it's Kate Props and welcome to my continuation of my new tutorial, the Batman Telltale series Bat Suit. In this part of this tutorial, I'm gonna be covering on how I made the thighs and the shin. Um, this video is gonna be super short and because it's basically fairly quick on how I did it. Basically, um, right now it's all gonna look looking flat. Like there's no detail, there's no paint, just looks like a base armor, which is and kind of looks cool to me. Like I like how it looks like it's just a base armor. And then later on, of course, uh, there's gonna be a video where I'm gonna be adding all the details, and that details are gonna make it pop and make it look like. Hopefully, I'm gonna try to get as close as the armor, as a bad suit it is in the game. Like I'm not gonna get it 100%. So if you guys start saying, "Oh, it doesn't look anything like it," just you know, just cost, it's just cosplay, bro. Don't get triggered. <laughs> anyway, basically, I'm gonna try to get the, as close to the details there is in the game. And with the color scheme, with the, all the lines he has on the armor, and yeah, I'm basically gonna give him my best to get that um, detail down. So basically, this is where it's gonna be the shin pattern that I did a long time ago. This I didn't even record this shin pattern because I already had it when I first tried to do this bad suit and I gave up. And then the um, uh, the thigh armor you guys saw me draw. And the, the first part of this tutorial series. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial series. It's gonna be super short, fairly quick. You guys are gonna see me trace, cut, and that's it. That's it. That's it. That's all I'm doing. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. All right, guys. So uh, this new tutorial and a new video. Um, for the shin templates, this is an old shin templates. This is actually the shin template that I made like. This past summer when I was trying to do the, the tutorial for the first time, but I didn't like how everything turned out So I basically just scrapped the tutorial and then we just having gaming videos Basically this template I like it a lot because uh, I actually did it right for the first time because this is one of the freehand templates that I did And I loved it so far and I did it So basically this template has the I want to say the The look of how you in the game uh, if you guys saw that I added like an extra inch to the uh, to the shin armor, that because sometimes I make the my shin armor it doesn't close completely, so I add an extra inch on both sides. So when I put the velcro, it can actually have like an extra space, and I can just cut it away. I'd rather be safe than I'd rather be safe than sorry, and I always rather have uh, more um, space in my armor pieces. If you guys uh, are making cosplay and you're not sure if it's gonna fit you or not, add an extra inch or so. Don't go past that because you can go like half an inch, an inch, and it'll fit you just fine. It'll fit snug or feel a little loose, they'll be okay. But if you add like two inches, the thing is gonna be like like falling up and down. It's gonna be wobbly. It's not gonna look good. And then you're gonna get annoyed on what you did wrong. You guys can see here. I'm actually tracing it and tracing it again because I traced it the wrong way. And I'm adding the extra inch with a ruler and just free and doing eyeballing it by the eye. So this video is super short. It's just basically the thigh and the shin armor that I um, freehanded. The, there's not much to it. Um, later on, there's going to be the details added on because I don't think the thigh and the shin armor have that many details that I know of. But I'll be adding on, I'll be adding on to them later. So yeah, this is basically the video is super short. Uh, I'm going to be back. Uh, at the end of this video, just show, uh, showcasing the thigh and the shin. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video so far.
And here it is guys, the finished thigh and chin armor. I'm gonna be modifying them in the end to make it a little bit looser and fit more how it is in the game. Well, alright guys, that's it. That's the end of the video. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe if you guys are liking this video so far. Um, next up is going to be the belt. And the belt is actually, I'm going to try to make a template. I'm actually going to try to record myself, make a template for the belt. Because the belt, there's nothing close to it that I've seen yet. So I'm gonna be um, probably gonna be recording myself making the template on Adobe Illustrator on getting the 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 squares right, everything right. So I'm gonna be pulling a lot of reference images from the game itself, so I can make templates and oh, and actually start digitizing my templates and and hopefully make a uh, hopefully make a a blog or a website that I can actually start pulling my putting my custom templates up but that's gonna be like down the road that's not gonna be now which is gonna take some time to do so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial so far hopefully you guys are liking my new tutorial that i'm doing for the telltale batman bat suits so yeah like comment share subscribe if you're if you're a subscriber and you know what to do hit the notification bell for every time that i upload if you're not a subscriber and you're watching please take the time to subscribe because i'm gonna be doing a lot more tutorials on my channel and I have a lot a bunch more tutorials coming out for this for for this end of the year and for the upcoming 2017 year. So this is MK Prophecy. See you guys in the next tutorial.